Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. In the last episode, we worked on setting up this and it is working wonderful. We're getting plenty of ethereal slate singularities, which is awesome. And we are really only missing, not really, we are really only missing two automations. And that is the suspicious stew. No, ultimate stew. Well, the ultimate stew and the endest pearl. These two are the only ones that we're missing before we can make the Infinity Catalyst. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we can do that, I'm going to jump all the way up to the top because there are a few things I want to show you. One, in the last episode, I didn't get to show it, but I made uh, this right here, the Infinity Range Booster. This basically makes it so this right here, it gets, well, in, in well, however many blocks that is of range. It was something that I was told in the comments and thank you very much because now I don't need to worry about the range for this thing. To craft it, that's the recipe right there. However, when you add this thing, it all of a sudden uses a lot more power, so I had to go ahead and give the storage system here its own power source. Or, well, power plant, I guess this is mini power plant. Now I mentioned the problem I had with the balloons in the last episode and I have solved it. So my issue was before that it would be generating more treated wood slabs and giving me more torches than I could produce the tough fabric and so it would eventually fill up the entire inventory and then there would be no space for the tough fabric. But as you can see that is no longer the case. So if we have this right here and I go ahead and yeah let's use glass. If I add the glass here and let's say the configurator here and Yes, and press this and remove them. You can now see that the items are stored in here. So now glass is always going to be landing here and the configurator is also going to be landing here, but this is still empty. So what I did over here was I added an item that I know never is going to enter the system, which in that case was obsidian, could be dirt or anything like that, fill out the entire area and the related items would only be landing in those slots and never glass would never land in this one essentially. And that solved. Well, the problem, and I had to do it for these ones as well, actually making the fabric, because I would be getting more sticks than I would actually be getting the string. So that solved that, and now it is running very well. Now, we are basically out of space here on this specific level. Uh, so I, I have made a new room. I've made a new room, it is big, it's not very pretty, but it's here. And this entire thing at the end of this episode is going to be full of, well, all of these foods right here. It is going to be very interesting. I've expanded in that direction as well. Most likely we will need to expand even further. But yeah, we have a lot ahead of us. And I think the thing that I'm going to be starting off with uh, first, I have added all the items here that are not EMCable, but I'm going to go ahead and take all the things that are EMCable first so we can get a better view at things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, well, I have to go through every single item here and hope that I have what I need. If there's something that I don't have that seems seeable, I'll have to try and get it. But I mean, so far, so far it's looking, oh, cocoa beans, I don't think we have any of those. Yeah, jungle sapling, I'll need to set up this, uh, but I can still, I, I'm pretty sure, yep, I do have a cake. I do have cake, that's lovely. I actually don't have melon, that's kind of surprising. Right, so just to get an idea, I've added these things right here and they have to be in the exact order of this, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go over here and get a personal EMC link as that to be specific. And so now I just need to add it in this, in this order. So apples should be going into this one. So I can add apples like so. And I'll of course need to, eh, eh. There we go. And just need to repeat this process until I have given all of the things at home. So I've got to skip this one because I don't have that particular item, which was cocoa beans and don't have one there and boom. Right. Not a bad start. I mean, this is this. Oh, wait a minute. Why? Oh yeah, I need to set these to output. There we go. Not a bad start, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for all the EMCable items that I already have in my storage. And while I do that, 
there's something I want to tell you about. I want to quickly show you a personal project of mine I have been working on called Measurement Notes. Measurement Notes is an app that makes it easy to take notes and store your measurements. I work with measurements quite often and I got tired of fiddling with normal note taking apps and pieces of paper that I would eventually lose either somewhere or leave them in my pants for washing and then having them disintegrate. Okay, maybe that last part was a bit exaggerated and may or may not have happened, but you get the point. The app supports both Imperial and the metric system and it is available on both the Apple and Google Play Store. So check it out using the links to the stores in the description or go to measurementnotes.com for more info. Now back to automating items for an ultimate stew. All right, and that is everything that I have been able to craft just, just out of what I already have. The rest, uh, yeah, I have some issues. I need to get the cocoa beans, for example. I need to get glycerin melon. Primarily, I need to get the melon because I need that. Need to get potatoes because I don't have those either. Need to get churros fruit, which is also interesting. It looks like I can use the alchemy table, which is nice. Gotta get the beetroot. So it's very nice, actually, that, that we have the alchemy table because that makes things a lot easier. I need the mushrooms, I need bowls. I'm going to be needing the sweet berry somehow. Uh, also to make the sweet berry cheesecake, to make the chocolate cake, I need the cocoa beans and I need the melon for the popsicle and yeah, I'm gonna focus on that because that is going to be finishing off the first two rows. So, right, I do have jungle saplings, so if I just have a pot here, oh, oh, we know what that means, we know what that means, give me my orb and empty put. And that should. Hello? <laughs> that that should do it. Huh. For some reason I had to right click it for it to, to work. I guess I had to bind it to me. But that means I should be able to, yeah, you could add a lever by the way to disable this machine. And yeah, that should now be charging up our LP while we're doing this other stuff. Right, so as I was saying, if I just have this and I maybe get some dirt. Dirt. dirt there we go. Maybe some bone meal to speed up the process. I don't know if bone meal actually works on this stuff, but if we add dirt here, that there, that does work. All right, I'm going to use a crook on all of this dirt right here because that should, yep, we have beetroot seeds, we have carrots, we have melon seeds, which I need to set up another one, I, th I think. I actually don't know if the melons can actually grow in a pot like this. Not the carrots, melon. Oh yeah, I can. And actually scrap this because I now have pumpkin seeds, which means I can go ahead and add that to the alchemy table. Oh no. Oh, that's using mana infusion. I'm going to be setting up a little bit of a temporary botania setup over here. Placing the alchemy catalyst here, mana pool here, have the mana spreader there, have that facing there and these should then be binding to this if I look at these yep they are going there so I can just drop some coal they'll pick it up and generate some mana because that means I can then for example with the sweet berries drop an apple into that and we should get some sweet berries let's test this right away boom just like that. And of course I can go ahead and add that to uh, my storage and I can take it off my list. And that also means I can uh, scrap the jungle tree growing scenario and I can just go ahead and get some pumpkin seeds. Just one to be specific. Drop that in here as well. <clears throat> Come back, there we go. Yep, there we go, cocoa beans acquired. Next I need to use a crook on some soul sand to get some mushrooms. That's interesting actually, I've never done that before. So let's try that out. I'm going to be needing both the red and brown mushroom, but also the normal nether mushrooms. So let's see what we get. And we got everything that we need. Perfect, brown mushroom, nether wart, warp. Uh, actually, we didn't get everything that we need. I still need the red mushrooms. Oh no, I already had those. I meant the, the crimson fungus. There we go. <laughs> And to get the churros fruit, I should be able to just add an eye of ender in here. And there we go, churros fruit acquired. Just add that to the storage as well. Now I'm just waiting for a poisonous potato. And actually there's a faster way if we just take a potato. If we go ahead and rem let's, uh, remove, rem bucket. Ye yes, bucket, give me. Remove the water, place this. 
plates of potato. And we should get a poisonous potato very, very soon. And there we go. Perfect. Remove that. Add that back. And that is that. Some sweet berry cheesecake. Some chocolate pie. And finally, melon. Oh. Oh, I need ice. Okay, what I can do is I can do this. Use the Philosopher's Stone to get the ice. And then if I go ahead and get the mining laser, and I just adjust it a little bit, add it here. Oh, it already has silk touch. So if I just remove these and then get, get it back, first of all, that's an important part of this plan. And boom. And definitely gonna add the eyes to this because I do not want to be fiddling with missing eyes ever again. So with that, we can now get a melon popsicle. Now we just gotta go down and add it all to this. And there we go, that should be the final one. The top rows are completely completed. <laughs> and that I think is all the EMCable of things, which means we need to do all of this now which is gonna be interesting because we won't be able to pull it out of our EMC thing. We need to actually craft this. So I need to think of how I'm actually going to do this properly. We need to sometimes use, be using the cooking part. For some ingredients, we'll be needing to uh, slice things using a cutting board. All of this needs to be automated. Yeah, it's gonna be a process. But I think the best way to probably start this is to, well, take the first item. So let's see, fruit salad. Yes, fruit salad right there. How would we automate this? All of this is EMCable. We already have all of this in our system, except for the pumpkin pie, or the pumpkin slice, rather. And to get the pumpkin slice, we need to get a cutting board, some sort of knife, and then pumpkins themselves. So first I'm gonna add a potato to this, which is going to give us a pumpkin. Then I'm going to be getting a cutting, cut, cutting board, there we go get this then we need to get a knife I'm gonna get the highest tier that I possibly can uh, that is diamond and then I need to get another right ingot and do I have a smithing table oh yes I do perfect if you can't take the heat spend a whole nether right ingot to upgrade your knife <laughs> or get out of the kitchen <laughs> yes yes uh, exactly right so I need to automate the submachine doing this, essentially. And I want to see, actually, because just like you could use the dispenser in vanilla Minecraft to uh, shear sheep, for example, can we use a dispenser? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I think that the durability is still getting used. Yes, but that's fine. I can make plenty of knives to automate this process. I'm not only going to make one netherite knife game, I'm going to be making even more. Nine to be exact. <laughs> now, in actually, instead of using the crafters, I think I'm going to be using refined storage for this process. So, instead of crafting everything here and then having to use like an ender drawer to get it over to this thing, I'm just going to get the melon slices and put them into our storage. So if I set a cutting board here with a dispenser, fill it with netherite knives, set a timer, nope, set a timer, that is every 20 ticks, so I'll do it every 300 ticks. There we go, and then I just need to get a personal, where did I put them? There we go. Personal EMC thing, get a pipe of some sort, like this, set it to take out and then pumpkins i'm just going to go ahead and i think actually we're going to be using an ender chest for this or a um, colored ender chest i'm just going to use the white one for now so that does that i'm just going to break this place this here and then advanced item collector set this to whitelist pumpkin slice and there we go it's only going to work with, well, the pumpkin slices, and this process is automated. So it's just going to give us pumpkin slices in here, I'm pretty sure. Well, and we need to, of course, connect the ender chest there with um, with our top. Where did I? Ender chest. Did I just have three of these? That There we go. 
Don't know why they were just gone for me, but there we go. Now we just need to add a import external import. I think because that's going to add it to the system. Oh wow, that's full. <laughs> that is full. Let's just get rid of this real quick from a past project of some sort. There we go. Get rid of that. Boom, boom. So now pumpkin slices are going to go through here and it's going to be added to our storage. So if I search for pumpkin, pumpkin slices are right there. So then what we can do is we can make a crafter. And I'm pretty sure we can then make a, if we go into refined storage, what we then need is to make an exporter. Actually, I need to make a few of these because I think I've never done this before, but I think I know, oh, come on, I think I know how we can do this. So we need to get a network receiver as well as a network transmitter. That means we can transmit our network signal back from up the top and then we can receive that signal using the network receiver and that way we can then use an exporter to order, for example, let's say the item that we're trying to make the fruit salad. The, our, our storage is then going to make the fruit salad and then send it to that specific block using the stuff in our storage. All right, I got this now. So place the network transmitter next to the controller. Then we're going to be placing the network receiver all the way down here. I think placing it, yeah, let's place it there. Then we need to right click with the network card. I don't know, I think right clicking is enough. Link to, yep, that's the one. And then up here, place that into this. And there we go, they should now be connected. And it's also using a little bit more power, so that's good, that's a thing to keep in mind. But they should now be connected, so if I go ahead and make some cables, or get some cables, I should say. And let's see, so this one up here needed to have the fruit salad. Then add the exporter to that. Then get the cable. I'm going to drag this all the way over, connect it, and then I need to back home, set up a crafter, set up the correct crafting pattern. I'm going to do that very quickly right now. So there we go, crafting pattern. I need something else as well. I need the. I took this down originally because I didn't think we would need it. I think I could place it there. So add a pattern here. Then go ahead and choose the fruit salad. Uh, Where's it? Fruit salad. Just like that. Save the pattern for fruit salad. Add it to the crafting pattern. Then I'm going to go ahead and make the fruit salad. Just so I have it. And then I think I add it to this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is going to be the easiest thing for us to do right there. Making a bunch of exporters, all of these are going to be connected to our network. All the non emc items are going to be added to our digital storage. And then they will be requested as they are required. <laughs> this is awesome. However, that was only the fruit salad. It is going to, um, yeah, this is gonna <laughs> take a little bit. So now because this is just the same process over and over again, essentially, I'm going to do all of this, do all these items and I'll be back and I'll show you the final result. Because if I show you each and every item, we're, we're never going to get done. Plus we still have the end pearl. So yeah, I'm going to add all the items, automate all the processing for all that, and then I will be right back with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a process, but finally, every single item is in its place. And if you're asking why on earth those are off, that's because I just stopped the machine because uh, we, we need to see this in action. But before I show you this thing in action, let us go through the automation behind it all. Everything has now been automated and actually it's not too bad. Now, this part is going to be very loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and lower this to like 3%. Uh, this is our preparation area. So this is where we get like pasta made. We get uh, salmon. Sa salmon? Is that is that it? Sal yes, salmon. Uh, we get beef patties made. We get pumpkin slices, uh, onions, tomatoes. Everything is being automated right here. And things for like cooked bacon is also automated right here. 
which is really cool. And all of that is then led into our storage through this uh, enter chest with color coded white. We then have an item trash, uh, item trash can right here, which just takes all the byproducts that we don't want and just, well, trash them because, because we don't want them. Then we over here have the cooking pots. Um, this over here is distributing bowls to every single one of them that needs it, and that is actually quite a lot of them. Now this part was very interesting to set up. As you can see, we have a laser node right here, and that is very, very important because if we take a recipe like this, if we were to just take the exporter, which takes the items that we need from uh, our storage and puts it into uh, the cooking pot, if we just had the exporter directly onto the cooking pot, it would eventually, I'm just gonna let it finish its operation right there, it would eventually look like this, which would result in the recipe basically breaking and not working. So what we have instead is a laser IO node with the item card that has a counting filter and then exactly 60 of each. That means that this laser IO node is not going to ever allow more than 60 of each item in the specific inventory. Then at the top, we just have a normal export card with a chest that has all the items from the exporter. So it takes all the items from our storage. Like if I search for pasta, you can see we have 2.8K right there. And that is the same for every single part. Um, sometimes you need to keep an eye on it though and the chest uh, bottlenecks like that. But that is mainly because we're still in the starting phase. As soon as we have enough of everything, uh, we will be good. Now, what is exactly this baking tomato sauce? Yeah, so I, I think I do need to make another station to make tomato tomato sauce because I'm not quite getting enough um, for whatever reason. So yeah, I need to set up another station for that. But other than that, all of it runs through just like that and ends up back in our ender chest. And this thing right here just picks up uh, buckets that gets thrown occasionally uh, from one of the recipes that are taking in milk. I can't find which one it is, but yeah, you get the point. It, it just picks up the trash basically. Now there are three more items that were not made using cooking pots. Specifically, uh, not tomato sauce, chocolate glazed berries, honeyed apples, and blaze cake. This setup right here is probably the most complicated one, uh, but we have a basin right here with a, what we have here, blaze burner right there, which is being fed with a wood to keep alive. And then over here we have cocoa beans, sugar, and milk being siphoned through the item drain into the basin, and then it is mixed. And then we have a laser IO node with a fluid card where we filter out chocolate, uh, the chocolate into this fluid tank, which then is put into the spout, which then puts it onto a berry taken from this personal EM ceiling right here. That then goes into the chest and that then goes into the other chest. On the other side, we have two other things that are automated. We have the blaze cake, which first of all, we need to make cinder flour, which is made from crushing netherrack. That is then put together in this basin, mushed together to make this the blaze cake base, which is made from this. And then it is put in with lava. Just have a chest here filled with lava eggs. Don't think we're ever gonna need more than this. Uh, yeah, and that then makes the blaze cake. And we already have like 1,800, so I don't think we ever need to make any more of them. And then we just have the honeyed apple, MC link, honey, spout, apple from there trash picker for the glass bottles that are thrown into this and then again into the ender chest. Now after we see that all of this is working, I do want to remove the ender chest and set up a drawer system over there because currently our storage is, um, yeah, it, it's seen better days. I have expanded it, but as we keep automating and keep running the machines down below more and more and more, it uh, it will fill up the storage eventually. So I want to give it its separate storage uh, drawer storage setup system thing. Now over here, for the items that require a craft, oh yeah, I should probably show that. We have upstairs, I have moved the crafters right here. So we have the crafters with the crafting patterns and well, all of these things are not really relevant, but I made them anyway. The crafting manager, so we can see all the patterns, the crafting monitor, and the pattern maker. But if we then go down to this right here, then on the item that is a craftable or that needs a craft, 
Then inside the exporter, we have a crafting upgrade that tells our system, hey, I need this, craft it for me, and then add it to my inventory. And everything should be working. So if I place this cogwheel in here, I think we have like nine, nine or 12 water wheels running inside this wall to be able to uh, push, uh, to run this massive setup but look at this this is a site for sore eyes and by the way the, the neutronium nugget is of course being delivered by this ender drawer from upstairs look at all that food why am i recording this every single time that i'm hungry it, it's not it's not a good combination <laughs> i mean look at all this stuff all right so now it should pick up the honeyed apple then meet together with the docket and then should bake into a stew. Yes, it's actually working. Ladies and gentlemen, it is actually working. And there we go. Our ultimate the stew has been achieved. Now I do I can tell that I need to set up a trash collector for this specific thing. Uh, let me just do that real quick. And it's already off making the next one. This is working really, really well. I'm going to uh, place this, I think, here. Place this here and then decrease it. Something like that. Right list, bowls. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have automated ultimate stew. There's only one thing left to do, which is to pick up the linking tool. Store the frequency. And then add it to... Oh, well, I already did that. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. Our second one. Now, we are just missing one thing right here, and that is going to be the Enders Pearl. And that is going to be extremely easy because I have already set everything up, ready to go. This thing is ginormous, but one thing that I learned about the mechanism pipes, which I find really interesting, is the fact that if you color them, then if they are two different colors, they will not connect. That is very handy. I did not know about that. But basically, all I think thing that we need to do now is to put this here so we have the recipe right here so we need end stone so I should be able to just drag that over and of course we need to set this to output that should put end stone in every single one of the the corners here yep next we need a bunch of ender pearls which is going to be connected to the green network like this and the pearl selected like that Yep, that's going to fill out all of that. Then we have Neutronium Ingot. For that, I'm going to need my linking tool yet again. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to store this frequency. Go all the way down to the bottom. And then I will be needing another ender drawer, which will be connected to the aqua, whatever color this is, network. I'm going to place it here, but I'm going to disconnect it from this. Uh, not gonna be ender pearls in this one. And so if I just do this, maybe, oh yeah, I need to set this to output, uh, which might be easier set than done. Just do this. There we go. I can remove this now. And Neutronium ingots has been placed. And then finally, we just need one more personal EMC link to... Yep, gotta place it right in here. And gotta... Yeah, I gotta disconnect the... Actually, no, I don't. I don't have to disconnect anything because... Uh, yeah, it's only going to output from this specific red one. Like that. Another star. Because Neutronium uh, the ingots are not EMCable. And there we go, that is going to be the end of this pearl. I just need to go ahead and make some water wheels and then set that up. What do we reckon? Six, nine, now I'll make 12 just to be safe. And I'll make it back here. That's just gonna make it a lot easier. Three, four, five, six. Let's see if six can do it. All right, water wheels in position. Uh, half of them anyway. Place in the water. Final one. Eh. Let me fly and swim. Please. There we go. Thank you. Place this in. 
move a shaft over and then all we're going to be needing is a cog wheel and place oh it's pressed i'm gonna need a few more and there we go all 12 has now been installed please let me out of here plug this off again attach the shaft and there we go it is now working beautiful maybe i could have done it i don't care this is fine <laughs> Now I'm going to take another ender drawer, then I'm going to be needing a hopper, and that should be the ender's pearl done. Do like this, like this, I'll get a piece of glass real quick, put this here, and let us connect this ender drawer with the one at the top. However, we need to see this happen first though, and there we go, it's put together, and boom! Endest Pearl. Just like that. Very, very lovely. And I think I already have... Yes, I already have one. I'm not going to take it out because I'm very scared. People have told me it is going to explode if you right-click it. So that is not something that I'm going to be doing. We still only have two. What? What are we missing? Ah, I apparently missed a couple of uh, crafting upgrades for these. So there we go, that is that one made. This one, I assume also needs to, yep. And then I am probably missing another one. Yep, there we go, crafting upgrade complete. Now this is going to continue to run. And ladies and gentlemen, that is everything. Completely automated and completely running on its own. Now, as I said, I do want to quickly make a change to this. I want to set up a drawer system. So if we go into here, I want to make a bunch of these drawers. 28 is probably going to be plenty. I'm going to be needing one for each and every food item that is currently being cooked. Then I'm also going to be needing one for every single one of these setups, which is going to be 26, I believe. So that is going to be four, eight, 12, 24, yeah, that should be fine, and I can go ahead and upgrade these with netherite upgrades. Now I'm just going to be needing a storage controller. Control, or a drawer controller, whatever this thing is called. This is going to be taken out and moved directly over to the controller. And there we go. All the items should now be moved into here. They will find their own, or oh, they won't find their own spot, or will it? It might. I'm also going to connect this and remove this. It's going to cause temporary chaos. Oh, I can't connect it directly to that, so I'm going to need to make a chest. And this should run as well. I just need to set this to output. Yes, it's working. <laughs> I just had to confirm. And this thing should then be filling up automatically very slowly. So instead of flooding our storage with this, it is going to be added to this drawer system. So the edit chest has been completely removed. Now all I need to do is set up a an external storage. So add this here. Then I had a cable system. That runs all the way over and connects to our storage. So we can still access this. But, well, basically this can access it now. And everything will be put to here. So what are you missing? Fruit salad. What are we missing for the fruit salad? Apple. Oh, I don't think I ever added apples to... Yeah, I never... I know I added apples to the EMC, um, <laughs> to our EMC thing. Okay. And boom, apple acquired. Add that to this. And that should be the system now fully running again. I don't think there's anything I missed. Again, I do want to quickly set up another tomato sauce station. So I guess you get to see this being set up in real time. It's going to be needing bowls. I'm going to add a node right there item card again counting filter i can just look up a tomato and drag it in here and set it to 120 just like that add the item card there set this to extract set this here 
then going to be needing some sort of chest. Apparently we are all out of normal ones. So there we go. Add this to here. Then gonna need an exporter, just like that. Little bit of cable. Specifically one. And boom. Oh yeah, by the way, need to add tomato to <laughs> the actual exporter. There we go. And eventually that is going to make more tomato sauce. That's lovely. Is there anything more satisfying than seeing automation like this just be completed right in front of you? I mean, that is really, really something. Now, originally I wanted to end the episode here, but I realized actually that the next step is actually going to be automating the inf inf infinity uh, catalyst recipe because we need to, well, we need a lot of these in order to make a lot of these. So in the automation process, we actually need to automate the infinity catalyst. So, I mean, considering we have everything that we need, we might as well get it done. It really shouldn't take that long. We only need 32 crafters, which I might already get. I already have two. <laughs> so I just need to make 30 of these and set it up. I can actually drag this out. Uh, actually, I can remove you. Not dispose. There we go. Add that to there. And then, actually, this is the wrong one. I need to go ahead and get this one. This is the one that I need, because that is going to be in the order of which they're going to be added. So I was thinking, actually, I can I can remove this now, but I was thinking of making it out here, actually. Oh dear, I destroyed the wrong thing. <clears throat> anyway, we could do it out here, we could do it in here. That's just pathetic, considering how much GMC we're getting now. So it has to be a 9 by 4 I mean, we could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could shape this room. That would actually be kind of cool. But I would also kind of like it out here. But there's not really anywhere good to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is also kind of nice to have here. But you know what? I think actually, yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna do it in this corner just because it 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 does kind of fit. It's four right here. I just gotta one, two, three, four, five, six. I just gotta dig this out, then add the crafters, then behind the crafters, link the ender, the ender, um, what's it called, the ender drawers, and then that's that. Just like that. Remove this, and then automation. What well, automation? No. Space clearing <laughs> complete. Now for clearing this out, there's a reason I have this in my backpack. Place all. Actually, that is placed in wrong. We are going to have five down here like that and then the rest are going to be nine in width. Just like so. And then just need to turn them all. Am I going to move them over? I think let's move them over. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work in this shape but we're going to find out. Now for the process of adding the pipes. Now I'm just adding in the end of drawers. I'm also looking what I will be needing an EMC thing for. So for example the disc. I'm going to be needing a personal EMC link to add that to here. And I'm starting from the top going down so I can easily set the pipes to export otherwise it's not going to work. A uh, pile of neutrons, yep, that's going to be another ender drawer and a personal EMC actually and also an EMC right there. Set those to output and then the rest are going to be, well, ender drawers. <laughs> Just about being able to reach that and that is that all of them has now been added. So now I just need to add, well, the things that I need to, to drag out. So for example, for this one, it is going to be the diamond thing, the crystal matrix. I need to do this in the opposite direction of what it would normally be, but that is indeed correct. Now I just have to do a bunch of linking. So copy this one, run all the way over, figure out where that is going to be placed in that corner, shift right click. Yep, it's all coming together, ladies and gentlemen. I have just seen, for some reason, these are not emptying their piles of neutrons. I think, oh, I know what has happened. I know what has happened. These two have been 
drawing out all of the uh, well, primarily the dockets most likely and the ingots and then eventually there was nothing in here. So I need to... Uh, how do I lock this again? There's a specific card configuration tool. I think I can lock it. Yes, it is locked now. So now that problem is never going to happen again. Hopefully anyway. I couldn't understand why this number kept going down. I was like, okay, maybe I need to set up some more neutronium compressors. Uh, but, or neutronio, neutron collector, sorry, but I might not have to. And I mean, if that's the case, I will not complain. Now I'm gonna add this and then add pile of neutrons. Then hopefully it'll be able to distribute it evenly, maybe, potentially, I hope. I really, really hope. Otherwise, I will just have to go ahead and... Yeah, it, it does, it does look like, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, I came down here to copy these. <laughs> all right, those are all the odd items. Now I just need to add all of the singularities, which is probably what's going to take the longest because I need to remember which one I have taken and which one I haven't taken. I need to make sure that I actually get the right one. And that is the first wall complete, or the first row, sorry, onto the second one. And that is the second row completed, just missing five. And the final one, ladies and gentlemen, the XP Jelly Baby Singularity. And just like that, everything should now be ready. All right, at the cock wheel. Okay, okay, just, okay. <laughs> this is now acquired. Just need a quick shaft. And then, add this to here, turn. Can you not turn the... Are you kidding me? Fine, we'll do it your way. We'll do this, and then we'll do this, and it's working. It's actually working. It's actually working. All the items are being added very slowly. I'm just going to add a hopper yet again. Hopper? Eh, that's not as fancy though. Yeah, that's not as fancy. I'm gonna have an advanced thing here and an ender drawer because I love my ender drawers. They're good. I like them. I'll have one here and then this here. It's be it's being put together. We have our first infinity catalyst and the next one is already in the process. Look at this thing. Our very first one. This is really really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very very close. Now this just has to run. Everything it's running automatically now. All the singularities, the stew, the endless pearl, everything is automated. Even this right here. Look at that. Now we do need quite a few, so I do need two AFK for a while to get all the stuff that we need. Um, but yeah, this is cool. We, we do need actually quite a few just to make one uh, infinity ink and it's also used for some other recipes. But uh, yeah, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 for one ingot, basically. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that has been, this has been really, really cool. One thing that I did do uh, in this process that I haven't shown yet is, uh, it, yeah. <laughs> I figured that instead of just this space uh, being wasted, I have upgraded our power set situation significantly, so now we are not lacking power, and I think all the machines have uh, speed, uh, the, the watches of flowing time enabled, yep, even the reactor for the polonium pellet, pellets um, are sped up, so yeah, everything is automated speedy and efficient so guys i really hope you have enjoyed today's episode it has been really fun we are very very close to the end and i hope to see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode where we're going to be using these infinity catalysts to get the final pieces of gear that signalize signalize that signal the end game so like I said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.